Isn't it nice to just hear music? I don't know about you, but I'm missing concerts, going to shows. So Switchfoot, they're doing their part to live stream, still allow you to enjoy their music. And this morning we have Drew and Jerome from Switchfoot joining us to share how you can catch their next show. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for being on with us. Thank Thanks you. Good morning. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's start with Drew, shall we? Uh, even the name switch for it's a surfing term. You guys are living up to your name right now by switching how you're doing things completely. We are. Uh, switch foot is a surfing term, you know, and being from San Diego right here, that really, we carry that with us all over the world, uh, the, the beach vibes and the surfing vibes. But yeah, we've had to really um, switch up everything we're doing. We had tours booked this year. We had uh, a lot of travel. We had a lot of um, flights and uh, buses booked, and we had to cancel all that and, and uh, switch to something different. Can you actually switch your feet on a surfboard? I have not been able to do that. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's actually what the term means, switch foot, you know, <laughs> surfing or skating. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I was going to say, it's a really talented thing to be able to do it. <laughs> All right, so your next show, it's the fantastic not traveling music show. The next one's called Shipwrecked on the Hornblower. So let's bring in Jerome now. Tell us about this show. Okay, so we, we do this um, live stream once a month, and uh, we've been going to different places. We were shipwrecked in a tree, but this time we're going to be shipwrecked on a boat, the Hornblower, and uh, we are going to live stream a, a concert on it. And here in San Diego, a lot of us know the Hornblower well. It's right there on the Embarcadero. How was it being on that and performing? It was amazing. I mean, we were right at sunset. It was really beautiful. Like some some of the most memorable times playing music I've ever had. And, you know, in this pandemic with the whole shutdown, you know, we're missing community. We're missing playing music with people. And this is our way to connect, you know, doing these live streams. Let's talk about that because you're doing the live streams and people are commenting while you're doing it. Uh, does that kind of fulfill a little bit of that connection? It gets a little crazy. I mean, we, I love, it's a different type of connection because it's hard to play and read the comments while it's going on the screen. <laughs> but uh, we love the interaction though, the interaction of what people are thinking and what, you know, like how, when we're playing and stuff is amazing. So yeah, it's, a, <laughs> it's a it's bittersweet. It's like, Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm sure you would love to see people just out there screaming their heads off for you, which they do. Um, I do want to read one of the lyrics to one of your most popular songs. Uh, we're going to take you way back uh, about 20 years ago. <laughs> we were meant to live for so much more. Have we lost ourselves somewhere we live inside? Somewhere we live inside. So I do think this song speaks to many, many generations. Did you ever think when you first came out with that that it would actually resonate through these times, through this pandemic, helping people get through it? Yeah, uh, that song has taken us around the world, to be <laughs> honest with you. Um, it resonates with people all over the place and uh, in a lot of different times. And you're right, right now, more than anything, we need to realize that, you know, we still have connections with people, even though we're, uh, shut down in a lot of different industries and uh, a lot of people are hurting. There's a lot of uh, people struggling out there and not to mention just um, psychologically and um, also just community. You're struggling for community. So we've always wanted to be an agent of change and an agent of hope because we believe that hope deserves an anthem. <laughs> it certainly does. And a lot of times, of course, through music, we feel it. It does lift our spirits a lot. So it's, it's great that you guys do what you do. And you do so much for the community here in San Diego, coming from San Diego. So it's just wonderful to see. What else have you guys been up to during this quarantine? How do you get through it on your own at home? <laughs> well, the, the, the good thing about the quarantine is that we're able to be home and uh, and during this time at home, we're able to uh, start making new music. So I think we're gonna start creating a, an, another album. Oh, are you teasing us right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a tease. This is a kind of an official announcement as well. You know, we're, we're recording a new album and um, working on these live streams. And, uh, you know, we're finding ourselves really busy. You know, you just, when things like this happen, you just have to get creative and, Mm -hmm. figure out what's next mm -hmm. finding inspiration i'm sure through all of this too to write more music 
Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. All right. Actually, there's a lot. That there's a lot to there. be said out there and be sung about, that's for sure. <laughs> and we have a graphic up right now uh, about your next show, October 29th. You can sign up for it online. You can still catch Switchfoot performing. We're so glad to have you on our show this morning. It's such a treat. Drew and Jerome, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks a lot. All right, we'll send it back to you guys. I'm going to go listen to more of their music. Yeah, now. they should. <laughs> They're like the epitome of cool, those they, guys. They really, really are. And I just love how, like, you know, the pandemic has changed so many things, but doesn't mean things are completely canceled. That's you exactly know? right. Do it virtually. We are adapting. Yes. Please